Hi folks, it's time again for the Fisherman's Weekly Video Fishing Update, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of you fishermen readers and viewers a very happy and healthy holiday season. If you have some free time over the holidays, you might want to take advantage of the excellent late season run of jumbo sea bass underway on our offshore wrecks. This marks the last full week of sea bass season, which runs through December 31st. With blackfish season already closed and sea bass season quickly winding down, your options for wetting a line are dwindling, but there are some things you can do to bend the rod over the next couple of months. As long as the weather permits, you can hop aboard an open boat for cod and ling, poke around on tidal creeks for white perch, or hunt down some holdover trout in one of the many ponds or lakes that received the fall stocking. There's some good herring action this week on the west end of the island. According to Frank at Bernie's Bait and Tackle in Sheepshead Bay, the far Rockaway shoreline has produced some very good catches of herring. Customers also reported decent numbers of herring at the Canarsie Pier, Coney Island Pier, 69th Street Pier, and the Sheepshead Bay Boat Basin. Further east, herring were reported from the piers at Robert Moses and Oak Beach. On the north shore, Mount Sinai, Huntington, Cold Spring, and Hempstead Harbors produced herring this week, as did Hudson Park and Cameron Stock to the west. As we settle deeper into the winter, boat and sports shows and fish and flea markets will help pass the time between fishing trips. And then there's always the option of heading to warmer climes. Even a few days reprieve from winter can go a long way towards shortening the wait to spring. If striped bass management is a concern for you, think about attending the DEC's Marine Resources Advisory Council meeting, 7 p.m. on Wednesday evening, January 14th, in Stony Brook University's Wang Center. That meeting should give us a pretty good idea as to what option New York will take to meet the 25% reduction in harvest required by the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission for the 2015 season. Dates for the New York Boat Show have been moved from New Year's Week to January 21st to 25th. The Fisherman Dream Boat Challenge prize drawing will take place at noon on that Saturday, and if your subscription is up for renewal or you're subscribing for the first time, you'll have your choice of star sunglasses or aluminum fishing pliers both valued at 30 bucks. So be sure to stop by the Fisherman booth, pick up your gift, and say hello. Until next week, I'm Fred Dolafaro wishing you a very happy and healthy holiday season. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.